Hello, and welcome back. Today we are playing 905, which is yet another text adventure that I found on the Interactive Fiction Database, which, if you are at all interested, is ifdb.org. I believe all of the text adventures on that website are free to download save for a few that just redirect to like app stores or something like that which i i have only found one that actually does that i think the vast majority of these are either like rehosted old ass actual text adventures or modern stuff that's been put together here I am fully aware that text adventures can include, um, like, actual RPG stats, and that's kind of something I would be really interested in, although at the same time, I kind of don't want to, like, sink a hundred hours into, like, in a, a massive fuck-off RPG, which some of them are, to the best of my knowledge. Um, but a lot of these are just also short stories, and sometimes they're very creative short stories. And this one, 905, is easily one of the most highly rated, although a lot of these also come with almost no description, such as 905. As you can see here. So it says, bedroom time, 9.05 a.m. The phone rings. Oh no, how long have you been asleep? Sure, it was a tough night, but... This is bad. This is very bad. The phone rings. 9.05. Bedroom. In bed. This bedroom is extremely spare, with dirty laundry scattered haphazardly all over the floor. Cleaner clothing can be found in the dresser. A bathroom lies to the south, while a door to the east leads to the living room. On the end table are a telephone, a wallet, and some keys. The phone rings. Answer the phone. You pick up the phone. Hadley, a shrill voice cries. Hadley, you haven't even left yet? You knew that our presentation was at 9 o'clock sharp. First thing with the printers, now this. There won't even be enough left of you for Bowman to fire once he's done with you. Now get the hell down here. Okay. Um, well, if we're trying to get somewhere real quick. Uh, open dresser. You have to get out... Oh. Get out of bed. Get out of bed. You get out of bed. Open dresser. You open the dresser, revealing some clean clothing. Put on clean clothing. First, having taken the clean clothing, you'll have to take off the soiled clothes you're wearing. Take off clothes. Which do you mean? The clean clothing or the soil? This is already tedious. Holy shit. They don't need to design these in these way. Again, I'm... For once, I can actually speak from the perspective as a developer. They 100% do not need to make this as tedious as they do. Take off soiled clothing. Take off soiled clothing. Put on clean clothing. Seems ridiculous to put on fresh clean clothes when you yourself are covered with mud and dried sweat. Excuse me? Was there a restroom or something? Uh, bathroom lies to the south, while a door to the east leads to the living room. Let's go south. There is a, This is a far from luxurious, but still quite functional bathroom with a sink, toilet, shower. The bedroom lies to the north. Shower. You don't think the watch you're wearing is waterproof? Oh my god, dude. I think this may be the most tedious text adventure I have played yet. You can't open the drawer until you get out of bed. You can't put on clean clothes and take until you take off the dirty clothes. You can't get in the shower until you take off the watch we only just told you you're wearing. Take off watch. You take off the golden watch. Take shower. Carrying your possessions in the showers at... What are my possessions? Inventory. You're carrying some clean clothing, some soiled clothing, a gold watch. Drop everything. I'm glad it let me do that. Shower. 
You step into the shower, turn on the water, and within a few moments you feel like a new man. But no time to dawdle, you hop back out and dry off in record time. Put on clean clothes. You put on the clean clothes thing. Put on watch. You put on the gold watch. Look. Uh, use toilets. Good idea. A few moments to laugh. Flush. Hey, it didn't tell me I needed to take off my... It, you you first need to lower your pants. Un unzip your pants buckle. Like, I... <sighs> wash up in sink. Command not understood past wash. Wash. You don't think the, the watch you're wearing is what? Whatever, man. Uh, east. And bedroom. Okay. Uh, we're going to scout out for us. Lies of South. Take wallet. Take keys. We'll go east. Furniture isn't as carefully arranged as one might like, and it's a bit lacking in the luxuries that might this a more pleasant place to spend an evening. No stereo, no TV, no DVD, none of that. But this living room is still nicer than most of those in this neighborhood. The kitchenette lies in the east, bedroom to the west, and a front door to the south. Okay. Front door is closed. Open. So I've got my wallet, I've got my keys. Nothing to suggest I need to take anything else with me, right? Got my wallet, got my keys, took a shower, put on clean clothes, open door. Sorry, bedroom door. Open front door. You open the front door. Leave. South. Driveway. This is quite a seedy neighborhood, but there really isn't anything in the whole Los Mesas Metro area that isn't at least a little rundown. Of course, the locals may complain about the ugliness and the crime, but the fact that a starter home like this would cost easily five times as much in some place like Los Playas, and that's if you f could find one. The house lies south, a car is parked here in the driveway. Uh, hold up. Open car door. Open the car. Car is locked. Unlock car. Unlocked. Open the car. Drive it. <laughs> you see, I'm telling you, they can they can skip steps. Uh, scenic Las Mesas. Man, this place is an absolute toilet. Soon, you'll be able to afford to get the hell out of here, provided you can avoid avoid making any more slip ups on the job. Uh, as you cruise down the road, you notice a freeway on-ramp approaching. Would you like to get on? Please answer yes or no. Well, is it where I need to go? Yes. You start to change lanes, but you notice that the ramp is out of service today. Some sort of maintenance work, but that's okay. There's another on-ramp less than a mile down the road from here. You keep driving. As you cruise down the road, you see the familiar Lugent Technologies building approaching. Would you like to stop here? No. You know, it's another freeway on our approach. Would you like to get on? Yes. You have left Las Mesas. You merge onto the freeway, crank up the radio, and vanish without a trace. What? I'm assuming I just bailed on my job for some... How am I supposed to know what is, is the on-ramp? I guess I'll restart. Oh my god, dude. This fucking blows. <laughs> uh, the Answer phone. Phone. Answer phone. There you go. Okay. Drop everything. You're not carrying anything. <sighs> Take off dirty clothes. Noun error. I'm sorry, what is going on? Take off clothes. You take off the sold clothing. Oh my god, this is so fucking tedious, dude. Holy shit. 
South. Get out of bed. Fuck me. I was able to take off my clothes in bed. South. You're in the bathroom. Okay. Drop everything. Sold clothing. Drop. Take off. It doesn't even tell you you have a watch on until you try to take a shower. Take off watch. Drop everything. Drop the gold watch. Take shower. Step into the shower within a few minutes. You feel like a new man, but no time to doll. You hop back out now. Okay. Then we're going... Where? Back to, back to the bedroom. Take wallet. Take keys. Open dresser. Wear clean clothing. You put on the clean clothing. Okay. Unlock front door. Didn't, you know, even other other games didn't spit out this shitty-looking error message. Zork didn't do this. Which direction do I have to go? Well, the door to the east. Go east. Okay. Unlock front door. The locking mechanism seems to be... My front door's locking mechanism is broken, is it? Okay. Open front door. Leave. South. Unlock car. Unlocked. Open car. I'm driving. Notice a freeway on a ramp. No. As you cruise down the road and you see if it stop here. No. Cruise down the road and you notice another freeway on a ramp. No. You elect not to get on the freeway, but the idiot in the other lane decides to give it a try, swerving in front of you before you can react. He sparks a collision that ends in a gruesome fireball. You have died. What? Oh my god. So, I, 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 I'm, I'm assuming my only option is to go to the Lugent Technologies building. Is that my workplace? I don't even fucking know. Restart. Answer phone. Take wallets. Take keys. Uh, north. Get out of bed. North. East. West. South, there you go. I can't remember. I, I, I can't get used to remembering like orientations like this in my head. I just need to have like some sort of visual map, honestly. Take off watch. Take off soiled clothing. Take off soiled clothing. Drop everything. Dropped everything. Okay. Shower. Taking the shower. Take everything. At least it will let me do that. I'll just drop soiled clothing. Wear watch. You put on the gold watch. Okay. Wear clean clothing. Excuse me? Oh. Ugh. Open dresser. Open the dresser revealing some clean clothing. Wear clean clothing. There you go. Okay. East. Open front door. Leave. South. Driveway. Unlock car. Open car. I'm driving. No. Yes. Finally. You pull into the parking lot and hop out. Lugent Technologies parking lot. You are at the employee's entrance to the Lugent Technologies building. There's a slot by the door next to the sign reading, Insert ID card here. 
car is parked in the parking lot. Can I save? Oh, I can save, thank god. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna save this in, like, a special folder here, because a little auto-sorting thing will make this pain in the butt. <clears throat> okay. So I saved. Do I have a load option? No. I'm not sure how saves work with Gargoyle, to be honest. Okay, anyway. Um... Egg, examine, wallet. It's brown leather wallet. Open wallet. You open the wallet, driver's license, and ID card. Take ID card. Taken. Take driver's license. Taken. Okay. Look. Insert ID card. Do you want to in insert ID card into slot? You're standing in the hallway near the uh, black back entrance to Lungeon Technologies. The hallway leads north to the reception area and south to the parking lot, while a door marked Matthew Bowman lies to the west. There's a cubicle clear. It's simply, it is marked simply Hadley. Look in cubicle. Enter cubicle. Into the cubicle on the desk are a form, a pen, and a note. Look at note. Hadley, sign this F209 and return it to me immediately, MB. I'm assuming that's me. Okay. Um, West. Leave cubicle. I swear, they really do make this ne unnecessarily tedious. Hallway leads north to the reception area, south to the parking lot, go west. The note suggested that walking into Bowman's office without the form wouldn't be very smart. What? I am Bowman, aren't I? Am I confused about who I am? Oh, I'm Hadley. Oh, my mistake. Okay. Well, at least it gave me that warning. It didn't give me another fucking game over. Okay. Enter cubicle. On the desk are a form, a pen, and a note. Sign form. Not holding a pen. You are not holding a pen, dude. Take pen. Sign form. Someone passes by the cubicle as you sign the form. You look at just in time to see Bowman's door click shut. Okay. Take form. Taken. West. You have to get leave cubicle. West. You walk into Bowman's office, smiling, hand him the signed form. Bowman asked, who the hell are you? The jig is up. You try to make a break for it, but Bowman calls for security, and the guards wrestle you to the ground before you can make it back to the car. What? The jig is up? Hallway leads north to the reception area and south to the parking lot. Look we'll here, need Hadley. Hadley, sign this F209 and return it to me immediately. Matthew Bowman. The Anchorman chuckles. And now, on the lighter side of news... You've heard about the burglar who broke into a home and started stealing the family's valuables only to get so worn out from the exertion that he fell asleep and it was caught when the homeowners returned. Here's one to top that. A burglar broke into a East Las Mesa's home, killed the owner and stashed her body under the bed, put his possessions in the trunk of his car, then fell asleep, woke up the next morning, went to his victim's office, and tried to do the victim's job. An insanity defense is likely, and now, here with the weather, is J Double Day. Or is it? You have been sentenced to life imprisonment. There is a body underneath the bed and his possessions in the car, and there were endings for actually getting back on the road. Restart. This bedroom is extremely bare. It's extremely dark. Phone rings. It hung up on me right away. Look under the bed. Hmm. 
look under the bed. Under the bed, you see the corpse of the guy who owns this house. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. East. South. Get out of bed. East. There you go. Okay. Oh, wait. No. West. Take keys. East. Oh, the lock was broken. That's a giveaway. Okay. Unlock front door. South. What? Oh, open front door. South. You need to clear out quickly. True, but you look like an absolute wreck. Going out in this condition and drawing the inevitable bewildered stairs would make you just be making a bad situation worse. It said it was covered in mud. It didn't say it was covered in blood or anything. Okay. I just want to see what's in, like, the... You know what? Actually, I don't. I, 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 I get what we did here. But, man, you made this super fucking tedious for no good reason. I understand part of it's, like, you need to be so specific that you have to know already that you're wearing a watch, but you don't already know you're wearing a watch, and so the game just surprises you with the fact that you're wearing a watch, and you're like, oh, okay, I guess I have to do that. But because of that, like, I guess it simultaneously doesn't invite you to look under the bed. You know what, sure, we'll try to... Let's try to fucking find out uh, on the counter our toaster. It was a kitchen. There's a Pop-Tart. Toaster and a Pop-Tart. You don't really have time to poke around and cook yourself a fabulous breakfast. It's best to keep your time here limited. The exit is west. Eat Pop-Tart. Not Sunday brunch at Le Trop Cher, but it'll do. Okay. Alright. Uh, take off soiled clothing. Phone rings. Yep. Take off sold clothing. Drop everything. Open dresser. Dresser. Wear clean clothing. Oh, it really does force you to take a fucking shower, man. Okay. Um... Take off watch. Drop watch. Shower. What? Drop everything. What am I doing? Shower. Wear clean clothing. Having picked it up, see, you could actually skip steps. You insufferable piece of shit. North. East. South. Unlock trunk. Like, why? There is, there's, it doesn't specify that you actually have a car. Examine car. A nicer car than one would expect in this neighborhood. A real eye catcher. Oh, really? Unlock trunk. The car isn't open. Open. If I open car, I get on the road. The car is locked. Unlock car! You don't have the... My guy! Take... Uh... Take keys. Unlock car. Open trunk. You have a quick look in the trunk. TV, stereo, DVD, throw in the car. It's a pretty impressive haul. A bit lacking in the luxuries that might make this a more pleasant place to spend an evening. No stereo, no TV, no DVD, none of that. But this living room is still nicer than most of those in this neighborhood. I might know why that is. A kitchen that lies to the east. All right, well, there you go. So, so there are three endings to this game. One is, I, I think, the canon ending. 
is you show up to work and you try to do the job of the person you think you are and you're not. And then there's one where you just drive off into the sunset, which I guess is the rational ending. And then there's the one where you die in a fireball because someone merges into you on the freeway. <laughs> All right, well, that was short and sweet. Much more tedious than it had to be, to be quite honest. And you may, and clearly, just being able to wear things without having to pick them up, yet doing other shit, like forcing me to get out of bed before I can interact with the rest of the room, or not allowing, when I take something off, it doesn't, like, drop it out of my inventory or anything like that. <sighs> It really made this annoying to play, but um, I get the joke, and I kind of appreciate that twist a little bit more than Shade, personally. So that was 905. Don't know why it's called 905, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and goodbye.